One of the common causes of chronic pain as we age is a very interesting topic and question, concern. And even as we're visiting today, I'm thinking about, you know, my neck for what four days of golf over the holiday weekend did for me. And so as we age, we experience wear and tear, you know, on our joints, uh, flexibility is really a lot of things that that we deal with that can relate to how we treated ourselves when we were teenagers and in our 20s, athletes at a younger age, any injuries that we had at that time that we didn't think much of, a strain, a strain, you know, a, a sore neck from football practice, whatever it might have been. We see cumulative trauma as we get older. And in fact, I with the patient today it was talking about a little pain in his tendon you know he's in his mid 40s cycles it's out every day and you know we had to have the hey you need a break talk <laughs> it's like you know chronic repetitive use whether it's work related or exercise it can create chronic inflammation so unfortunately we deal with inflammation every day and okay what do we do well, simple things like ice, sometimes anti-inflammatories, cold laser therapy, or rest, more forced rests, where we give things a chance to really heal. And then application of specific therapeutics, like the rich plasma, exosome, stem cells. So there really is a number of things that can do, but the etiology or really the cause of different aches and pains that we have throughout the day, day, week, month, <laughs> it varies as we continue to grow, live, and stay active. And so it is important to address, you know, each the specific circumstances around each uh, injury, each chronic ache and pain, whatever it may be, so that we can uh, one, identify the cause. Two, get it to really the, the root cause and sort of pain and then plan the best treatment available to give you the most relief and get you, as we like to say, back in the game as quickly as possible. One of the most exciting things that I see and, and have in the recent uh, past is the application of regenerative medicine and regenerative therapies to numerous chronic conditions, to painful conditions, to uh, acute injuries as well, where we can really optimize your body's ability to deal with, with not only the pain, but the cause of that pain. So the inflammatory issue at its cause, wear, tear, um, it may be a chronic injury from friction over time, degenerative cartilage in the joint surface, the chronic inflammation or small partial tears in tendons, what's called tendonitis, tendinosis. And so they all respond extremely well to a variety of regenerative therapies that we've talked about a lot in previous podcasts, from platelet-rich plasma to application of your own autologous stem cells uh, to medication therapies as the So it really is the most exciting thing as for medicine that I've seen in 44 years of practice is being able to step in early or at any stage of an injury, whether it's acute or chronic pain that you're dealing with from an acute or chronic injury to joint, muscle, ligaments, identify what may specifically work best for that, and then apply those techniques to give you some lasting relief without having to undergo surgical intervention, which most people are very interested. So I think the most significant changes that have happened in the last, actually, five to 10 years is regenerative medicine applying certain techniques using your autologous stem cells to heal a chronic injury, as in knee pain, osteoarthritis, cartilage damage, tears of the periphery of those joints, the labrum, let's say, the hip, shoulder, which are 
cartilage structures that have undergone a lot of damage acute and chronically over many years. And there's not a lot of therapies that work from aspirin to anti-inflammatory medications. Cortisol, of course, is a tremendous anti-inflammatory, but you can't have repeated cortisone injections because that accelerates how fast cartilage can degrade. That's pretty well documented literature. And so being able to harvest and utilize your old stem cell to repair those tissues so there's more cartilage, less friction. Obviously, it makes sense when you, for instance, with the kneecap, the patella, condition called condromalacia patella, which can happen in younger individuals as well. When we see that by utilizing your own cells to stimulate healing and new cartilage growth, that joint gets smoother. So that grinding, crepitance, roughness, that feeling that you can almost hear across the room at times uh, decreases significantly, anywhere from 50 to 80 or 90 percent. And so when you don't have that chronic inflammation from the grinding and friction, then clearly the pain goes away as well. So these are very useful techniques. Uh, many times we'll first use your own plasma, platelet-rich plasma, to take the growth factors from a concentrated specimen PRP solution and put it directly in the area of the injury. It helps reduce the inflammation significantly, and it is much safer long-term than using cortisone. So I rarely do a cortisone injection or I'm using platelet plasma first and then moving on to stem cell therapy of that has not been as effective as we would like, or we need just need more healing.